Oh, Katie, Katie, Katie. You know, I, I didn't want to make this video either, but I'm forced to. Let me first say I wish that my camera was working right so I could um, be on it, but I can't. So, you know, let me apologize ahead of time that you won't be able to see your favorite mug on TikTok. But instead, we shall concentrate on these hypocritical comments and just flat-out bald-faced lies. Um, first of all, disregard the comment that is I'm replying to, but look at the comment on your screen that's on uh, somebody else's page. And she says, because you demand proof of your, fr of your friend telling you someone called CPS on her so you all can make content? Skip it a skirt. Let's hit the brakes right there, please. We defended Becky for over a month, telling people it was true what she was saying, because that's how much we trusted her and believed her. Up until the point that people started saying, you know, do y'all have y'all seen proof? Um, and we asked her, you know, we told her, and I can show you those messages. I could pull a Becky and just flat out show them, but they say. You know, we trust you, Becky, but everybody else is asking for proof. So is there some type of proof that we can show people to ease their minds? Because, you know, a lot of money was thrown your way in my life. It was just amazing to see all the people um, coming together to help somebody in need that we thought was in need. And, you know, to be honest, that's the type of people that I like to associate with and rather be around. But anyway, continuing on, for a solid two weeks, she would avoid the question just it was straight up crazy. So for the next couple weeks, she just beat around the bush. She never sent anything until she finally did send something. And it was this, which is a generic cover letter for some um, insurance thing. And you can actually zoom in and see through the blacked out stuff. And she only blacked out literal, it says age, name, discrimination, stuff like that. It was, there's no personal info on here. Now moving right along, let's address the comment that I'm replying to. The part that says, I never liked you since I privately walked away from you. Both of those are false, and I'm about to prove it. You never liked me, but you sent us $40 worth of gift cards. You know that was your old name, What Level of Hell Podcast. You also sent us a baby stroller and car seat that we'll get to eventually that you ended up wanting back. Thank you, by the way. We've got some good use out of that. You always want to throw out there that uh, I shame a female addict by mocking her. But tell me right now that you didn't comment on those videos laughing, saying that they were funny and shit. Come on, tell me right now. I don't have the screenshots of it, but me and you both know and many other people that you did. You know, accusing me of shaming an addict, but what's that down there say? Oh, how did I just notice Ashley's lip critter? You were even getting in on the action, needing a new name. It's part two coming up.